So we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to fix up the pond that we made out of an old paddling pool. So keep watching and I'll show you what we're doing. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. My name is Motin Ali and this is my family garden. And on this channel you can learn about all things gardening, how to grow your own fruits and vegetables and a little bit of pond keeping as well today. So before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and make sure you ring that bell as well so you get the notifications for whenever I put a video out like this. So we made this pond as sort of a test run to see if that we could manage having a pond in a garden. <laughs> and we made it out of the kids old paddling pool. So the liner was made out of that. But it's got a few holes in it and it's time to replace it. So that's what we're doing today. We're replacing it with, we've got a preformed pond and we're going to replace it with that. Before we do that, we're giving it a good old clean, taking out all the gravel, cleaning out some of the silt. So all this water that's in the pond, we're not wasting that. We've got it pumping up to a water butt where we're going to save it all. Because this is going to be really nutritious for water. This water is going to be full of nutrients. It's full of fish pool. It's full of things that are falling in and decayed in this water. And that's going to be a really good feed for plants. So we're just going to make sure that all that's saved. But in this water as well, we're giving all the gravel a good wash so we can use that again in, when we put the preformed pond in. But the preformed pond isn't the same size as this existing pond. So we're going to have to make some adjustments, maybe dig a, dig a little bit deeper and make a new shape so the preformed pond fits in properly. So all that water that's really black and full of goo is going to be really nutritious for feeding plants with so I'm not letting any of this go to waste so we've managed to empty the pond out and the pond we're going to take this liner up so we're going to leave the stream in place and we're going to fill fill those rocks back up and get them in nice um, it's unfortunate that we can't get a hold of any cement at the moment otherwise I'd have cemented them in place so we'll leave the stream in place but we'll take this liner out We'll see if we can put it to any other sort of use, but I doubt it. It's had, I mean, it's been here for a good two or three years in this place, but before that, another three, two or three years as a as a paddling pool. But so we'll get this out and see what we need to do to get the next pond in. So the pond we've got is quite a big, quite a bit smaller than our original pond that we had with the liner, and it's not the, exactly the same shape either. So what we're going to do is, so we're going to have to remove some from this side and fill quite a bit in to get it to the level that we need it to be at. We left it with some water overnight to get it to settle and make sure that it doesn't change its shape overnight. And, it, and we've come back this morning and it's still level. So we've come back this morning and it's still level, so that means that we can start backfilling around this. So all this dirt that I took out, I'm just going to start putting back in. Okay, you do it. Come on. So all this dirt that's around, we're going to fill it all up. We're going to fill fill the base of it first and we're going to try and leave about a foot at the top so we can fill with compost and then we can start putting in some plants around here. So all these sides we're going to fill it up with soil and then we're going to leave about a gap of a foot and we're going to fill that with with compost at the top so we can plant some uh, plants around here and some flowers and make it look a little bit prettier. Put it on the floor, put it on the floor and lift it, that's it. Just drop it all in one place, just drop, let it all drop in one place and fix it afterwards. Done. 
so we've got the first line of rocks in place and that's going to be like a hard standing that we're going to walk on and we're going to leave these areas around the pond for plants flowers flowers you want flowers in there okay and that's so you're going to put some daisies there okay okay so yeah around here we'll put some flowers and now we've got to work on getting this stream to connect to the pond properly so we've got like a little waterfall happening there's a tiny waterfall here and a tiny waterfall here okay so we've backfilled in and around the pond and we used soil and sand and wood chips to get those rocks level and now what we're going to do is we've left a foot of space around the side we're going to top that up with a mix we're going to put a layer of wood chips in and then we're going to fill it up with compost and from there we're going to be able to plant into those areas so have you got me some wood chips okay we're going to start filling this up with wood chips just all the way around we're going to put loads and loads of wood chips and then on top of that we're going to pile in our compost and then we're going to be able to plant into that so we've managed to get um, the stream sorted out and we've got the pond in place now I'm filling these areas up with compost so we can put some plants in around here we, put, we did put a little bit of water in and test it to see that it was level and we've done that it's, it's proved to be level so we're just going to fill all this up, up with compost So I filled it with wood chips to, at the bottom and then I put some uh, semi broken down compost and now I'm just topping it off with compost so we can plant into here and we'll get some nice plants and some flowers in and around here. I might even put a few veg in here if my wife doesn't catch me doing it. So now that we've got everything into place, it's time to fill her up. So Dave, can you go and turn the tap on? Can I put the water here? No, just put it into the middle of the pond. That's it. Whoa. Don't splash me. Splash him! So we're going to add uh, some dechlorinator and this has uh, got a stress coat inside it as well so we're going to add an extra amount because the, f the fish have been through quite a lot um, so we're just going to add, make sure that we add a, a good healthy dose. The pond's full now, so it's time to get the stream flowing again. So let's get the pump turned on and let's see what happens. Yeah, so that's a DIY shower filter and once um, I'm going to set eventually set up an aquaponics bed here. What's an aquaponic? So there's our little stream flowing now. The water got a little... That's I have a smiley face on that rock. So that was the moment that we were waiting for um, to get the, the stream.
stream flowing again. So now that the stream's ready and everything's flowing back to normal, we'll put the fish into their new home. So, Khadi, do you want to do the honours? You found some frog spawn as well, so that's going to go back in, and hopefully we'll let them uh, let, the, let the tadpoles settle. Let's put the frog spawn into this side where the fish can't get to. Them. Okay. So go. On. Nothing's happening to the frog spawn. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. There we go. The frog spawn goes sludgy, sloppy. We'll leave the frog spawn there as well to settle. There's a lot of dirt. Okay. I can't see it that much. It's over there. Okay, so leave the frog spawn there. Nobody so, touch it, it's just gooey. So that's our little pond back to normal and we've got a nice little feature. We'll, f we'll fill these sides in with some plants. Eventually we'll get some aquatic plants for it. This iris that was in the old pond. And I think this is gonna go this is gonna be the first plant that we put in. We'll get that in. Just here. We'll get some more plants and eventually we'll get some aquatic plants around these sides where we've got the compost in and everything. And this year I think it's just going to be a free for all and whatever plants we can get hold of we'll put in and eventually when the shops open again we'll get some aquatic plants. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell for regular updates and we'll see you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.